Hey you all! Today I run another test of my hybrid rocket engine. I loaded it with a cylindrical polyethylene grain fabricated on a lathe with high precision in order to reduce the risk of combustion instabilities. I made this igniter from rocket candy. It has about the same geometry as the grain except that it is much shorter. A nichrome wire is embedded and allows electrical ignition. I will show in another video how I made this igniter. I stack both parts, make sure the wires go through the grain and push it into the combustion chamber. I use Teflon tape to seal the thread. The nozzle is made from an iron pipe plug. I used it once before. It shows some rust but only minor erosion. Screw it on. Hand tighten is sufficient. Ok, let's get out and test. My initial plan was to fire it at Cape Colwood, West Virginia. But then I decided not to transport it that far. This here is Cape Tally, just about half a kilometer from where I live. Now let's see how it performs. Uh oh, not good. Some traces in the grass, but not much. Here is my remote control. Zero volt means safe. Plus nine volt starts the igniter. Minus nine volt opens the oxidizer solenoid. Well, that nozzle was clearly not strong enough. Maybe it's not a good idea to use a nozzle twice. Here is a picture from before and after the test. Make sure you get one of the last tickets for Rocket Boys the Musical if you haven't seen it yet. It's freaking amazing! Thanks for watching.